Ravens, Flock Ravens Nation, man. Uh, I don't come to this video today uh, in sorrow. I don't come to this video in um, despair or, or worry. It's, it's more so... Um, I don't even want to say it, it is urgency. It's urgency. It's urgency. Shouts out to uh to to Lil said it. Go 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 follow him. Go go subscribe to him. I'm I'm going to after this video, but I I, I had to, like yo and I got receipts on this shit too. I had Huntley. I called it the, the last video. I tried to call it. I knew it was. I knew we was capable of doing it, but literally today. When they posted them going to the pregame and they outfits, all that shit, you can go in the comment section. I'm in there. When they posted Tyler Huntley in that OVO hoodie, I said, let's go. Let's fucking go, Snoop. Four, four TDs a day, one rushing. I seen it. I fucking seen it, and we had it won. We had it fucking won, man. This nigga had two rushing, two passing. And we had the fucking game. I I watched. I watched. I, I, I'm upset. But I ain't going to lose composure. But I watched. One. One. Uh, I forget who it was. But um, uh, what's Bart Scott on there in the morning. And they just was talking about. You know. It wasn't the, the, the two point conversion. Go for it. Win the game. Uh, I, I'm gonna upload my video too that I had watching the game, but a, a little bit of it, just one. But uh, they were supporting the, the decision and the two point. The other guy wasn't. He was saying take it to overtime. But even with the two point conversion, this was my issue. Even with the two point conversion, what the fuck play was that? What the fuck type play was that, yo? What the fuck are we doing, man? I've been saying, I, I feel like I, I, it's another repeat of me saying them same fucking words. What the fuck are we doing? Every fucking Sunday. Yo, and I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I don't even know how to feel. The fact that Eric DeCosta was on the sideline watching that fucking game. There's no way. You got regular fucking fans that's not even fucking fans of, of the Ravens. I just watched the Steelers. Fan, sit there and say, what the fuck was John doing? And then say, well, good for us, but... Because they fucking know they trash, too. Yo, we could easily... How many games did we lose right now? Three? We could easily be... I don't even know what the fuck's the record right now. How, like, what are we still, eight? Eleven? Bro, I had us having a dominating season. But I didn't account for John Harbaugh being either paid off to do his his bullshit right now or is he really this fucking incompetent is he really this incompetent that's what the question should be fuck that two point conversion call how the fuck you just give the ball right back to fucking Andrew I was I was hoping we was gonna run it Murray was dominating them for whatever reason he know the Green Bay defense for whatever reason he was dominating them today man why couldn't we eat off that? Why the fuck would you throw it right back to fucking Andrew? I said this the last video. I'm not putting the game in Andrew's the win, hands to win the game. I'm not doing it. He, he is the worst in the biggest moments. Y'all was disappointed that shit happened. I wasn't. But at, just, then he said, ooh, let me calm down. Because it's raining. You feel me? I don't want to lose vision and shit. I feel like that motherfucker off tails in the hood when he got slapped. He was like, Give, show us the money, old man. He's like, woo. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. John Harbaugh slaps us fans in the fucking face every Sunday, yo. And reminds us how su such of a shitty coach he is. He's horrible. Any real Ravens fans know Lamar saved his fucking job. We all know that. And if you don't want to admit that... I don't I, you don't gotta you don't gotta listen to my video. Stop the video right now. Go do something else. He's trash, yo. He is trash. I've been said this. He was for Joe Flacco. That's why he did not start Lamar that season. 
He was pulling for Joe Flacco so fucking hard. He d it took us mid-game losing onto a losing season for him to say, damn, let me pull Joe. Because we're about to lose another game and I'm about to be out of a job. That's what it took. Lamar had to go through exactly what Huntley went through. Start in game, last minute. Well, not in game, but kind of, un almost under the same circumstances, but no preparation, so to speak. We had that fucking game one. Then they talking about some, you don't want to take it to OT with Roger. What the fuck? We, were took, we took a two-mall game. Huntley was, yo, they keep saying the greatest backup. He's a fucking QB. I knew he was going to play hard. I knew he was going to ball the fuck out. Because I don't believe in no NFC team. They fucking trash all of them NFC teams. They suspect. They suspect. All of them. We is the only true fucking team that, that really can do what we do. Because we got players that really care about playing this fucking game. It ain't the fucking coaching. Tyus Bowser and them came alive in the second half. Wink wasn't doing shit. But it helped. He was down there with them. Fat ass Roman. Bitch ass. Eric DaCosta. Why is Eric DaCosta down on the field and Roman ain't? It take you. You got the highest seat in the house. And didn't think to say. They gonna, they, they gonna cover Andrews. We got to go to somebody else. Fake them out and go to somebody else. You, I know they told Huntley to go to Andrews because there's no way he going to sit there and make that decision on his own. Because if it didn't work, they'd be like, what the fuck are you doing, Huntley? I know that's how it's going to go because they do that shit at work to me. So I say, all right, you tell me what to do. I'm going to do it that way. If it, don't, if it don't work out, that's on you. You feel me? Already, we know how this shit go. Shots out to Huntley though, man. That's why I was making my videos the last time. Y'all give him this praise, man. This nigga really nice as shit. I knew he was nice as shit. When we drafted him, not uh, not drafted, he when he went undrafted and something was signed the next day after the draft. The next day. Well, I, it might have been the same day later on that night. I'm telling y'all, man. I sat there. I, I I love doing that shit. This time, this year, when it comes to the draft, whoever we pick up, I'm gonna sit there and watch video on every single one of them. But it was something different about Huntley. The way it was something different about Lamar. You feel me? And if he if Ty, Tyler lead, load, led us right down the fucking uh right down the field, how the fuck we wasn't gonna have a chance of overtime? What the fuck? You think Aaron, Rod what, Aaron Rodgers was playing the last fourth quarter? He was playing? He was joking around with us? No, he was trying to fucking win. You feel me? You ain't even give the defense a chance, bro. And you ain't give uh, Tyler a chance. Snoop. You ain't even give Snoop a chance, yo. It, I've been saying some shit going on underneath all the exterior, but god damn, yo. If Eric DaCosta watch and is a fan of the Ravens, how we as fans are fans of the Ravens, and if Steve Biscotti sat there and watched that fucking game as we as fans are fans of the Ravens, I don't give a fuck about and and, and woo. <sighs> Why the fuck? Was Averett not on Devontae Adams? We gonna put the y'all call Averett trash, but y'all put the y'all y'all why the why is there the nigga seventeen? I don't even know this nigga. Yo, he sounded like he worked at a grocery store. How the fuck you ain't put Avery on the top defender? He just let him eat him up. Let him. The cause was atrocious. Atrocious. I didn't even know you could challenge certain shit on the field like that. I forget what it was Green Bay fucking challenge. I'm like, how do you could challenge that? You could challenge that? 
they roll, they really fucked this all uh, every, every three phases of the way. R- coaching, refs, and fucking play calling. Like, uh, it, it, not play call, personnel, the matchups. They wasn't doing shit. I knew we had a chance to shoot it out with them just because Huntley got that element Lamar do. Y'all gonna see my video when I post it, man. I was hype as hell for Huntley, man, and I, I'm hype as hell for Lamar. I made a bet with one of my co- with two of my coworkers and shit, twenty dollars each, that we was gonna go, we gonna go at least three and one. We gonna lose at least one game. I did, had no clue it was gonna be the Green Bay, but we gonna win out. And I'm telling y'all, my fans, Ravens flock right now. I still feel that way. <clears throat> Asterisk, put the little little star thing next to it. If Lamar can come back in time, next game before the next game, we good to go. If Huntley has to play the rest of the season. I still have faith in him, but I don't know if we're going to win straight out because it's going to be a tough stretch against the Rams. And I don't know about the defense being able to contain all the motherfuckers and Tavon Young went out with concussion and and what, what who's going to cover who? We ain't got Humphrey. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be an issue, but I got full faith we can at least go 3-1. and one. I definitely had us losing one of these games the last four. But I didn't think it was going to be the Green Bay one. But look look how we lost, though. Because we should have won. Look how we lost. At the fucking hands of John Harbaugh. So it's all good, y'all. It's not all good. Because John Harbaugh is still on the team. Greg Rome is still on the team. Hollywood was open. But y'all know how I feel about Hollywood. It, it, it would have been a heartbreaker if that nigga would have dropped it. Cause you can't see this nigga. Can you see? Can y'all imagine being Huntley? Huntley six one. All these big ass motherfucking people while he's scrambling. You think you gonna see five eight Hollywood in the back of the end zone behind everybody? But if he should have been looking for him as a as a coach, knowing that they was gonna ask like having. If y'all, go, I, I put respect on Andrews' name last night. Man, I'm gonna call him Andrews now because he definitely been been playing consistent, but he's consistently inconsistent at the worst fucking times. And by worst, I mean the biggest fucking moment we need him to be clutch. He don't be clutch. You feel me? That's just what he do at this point. I'm sorry, that's just how he is. So I've been said the last video. I'm not putting the game on the line. In Andrew's hand You use him as a decoy I'm glad Bart Scott said You use him as a decoy That's it We could have went to anybody else We had Tylon Wallace We had fucking Prochet getting involved That's what that's what Huntley do That's what Snoop do You feel me And they been shots out to them for not dropping the passes You feel me And I didn't like Hardball up in up in Oway face over some bullshit. That nigga flop. All he did was push it. That nigga flop. Why the fuck you up in his face like that, man? Niggas ain't being up in your face when you fucking making these shitty calls. And fucking, I seen the look on ADC face like, damn, John, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Aaron Rodgers, he faked it too. What the fuck? Lighten up, John. But that's what happened when you got your fucking bosses on the field with you and you scared and don't and don't really know shit. You underperform. He's trash. Shouts out to motherfucking uh Lil said it, man. Nigga got to go, man. That nigga got to go and all his minions, all of them. I I trick some of the staff too. I'm like, hey, if you guys, uh, we got uh, something we want to plan for John. If you guys want to come, come on. You know what I'm saying? I, I bet every last one of y'all fired. Fire. You feel me? Fuck that, man. 
It ain't no state of urgency with the team. The injuries are what they are. But we know what to expect now. Have a big lead to win the game or we're going to lose because John don't know how to coach a game. Have a big lead or we're going to lose the game because John can't coach a game. On to the Bengals, man. I think we're going to win. If we got Lamar, uh, if we got Hunt, <clears throat> if we got Huntley, I still like our chances. But y'all, I I hear the youngness from Huntley. I hear the the the. How can I say? Wet behind ear. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about on the field. I'm talking about him just listening to the coaching staff do it do as he's told. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they told this nigga to throw the fucking Andrews. That was it. Basic ass shit like they did Lamar. Handicapping shit like they did Lamar. Aaron Rodgers is trash. And he's a fraud. We should have won that game, man. But, uh... Just um, <clears throat> again, great game from Huntley, man. I'm not surprised. I really had him scoring that, all all that he did. I was hoping uh, coach and made the right play, but they didn't. So I'm hoping they made uh, the upper management made the right call and what they seen and what from what we seen as fans, because that was bullshit. It was. I still got my Lamar shit on, man. It's still go Lamar. It's still Lamar for the team. But, man, fuck, man. Huntley's the man, yo. Uh, and, and I forget the dude's name. I forget the dude's name, but he always hating on Lamar. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Big face. I forget his name. But uh, he even had to admit Huntley was nice as shit. And be honest with you, I'd rather see... Lamar versus Huntley than Lamar or, or, or uh, Tyler playing under Huntley. I don't like that. They both great in their own regard. And, and a Huntley shouldn't have to play uh, downplay to, to his capabilities because Lamar is starting. You know what I'm saying? If it was possible to do a 2QB system, that would be awesome too, but it ain't possible, but Again, I, I just want the exposure for Huntley. And I'm glad he is getting the exposure because in turn that helps us get some draft picks and shit, hopefully. And that and that helps him get his fucking bag. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. That nigga nice as hell. I ain't never seen nothing like it, man. I remember we had Anthony Wright on the team by my ass. I remember uh, just uh, about a week ago, fucking just about a week ago, a fucking uh, somebody was in my comments said somebody some Troy Smith was is better than fucking Tyler Huntley. Bitch, where? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna add this video too. I'm gonna go message that nigga too. Talking about some Troy Smith. Are you fucking serious? And Tyrod, too. are you fucking serious? Tyrod Smith and Troy Smith or Tyrod Taylor and Troy Smith? Are y'all crazy, yo? Is that nigga crazy? Because ain't no way in the fucking world, bro. There's no way Troy Smith was shitty. Tyrod Taylor is not putting up nowhere near these numbers. If Tyrod Taylor was on our team during these games, we would have lost still. And, and it wouldn't have been convincing. No shade. But, uh, yeah, man. And, and to all them Ravens fans that's all butthurt about I can't believe you guys are doing this to Lamar. I can't believe the guys are doing this to Lamar. Yo, when Joe Flacco was playing shitty, I meant to say this the last other couple games. Hold up. When Joe Flacco was playing shitty, guess who was guess who was asking for uh Tyrod Taylor to get in the, get in the game? Me. 
I, I don't hesitate. And I don't sit there and take none of this shit personal with uh, how I how I am with my team. You feel me? If somebody not playing good, we're going to sit there and expose the shit, man. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing with my own fucking team. Or myself. You feel me? Lamar been playing shitty. I was like, yo, instead of sitting there exposing it, why the fuck you guys like, come on, man. It's like, yo, if your kid pissing on itself, what the fuck are you going to walk around with him all day like that? No, let's go clean yourself up. You're going to be out of commission for a little minute, but we're going to clean you up. You know what I'm saying? Put some new clothes on you. We got to change the shit up. Something. I'm not going to have you out here looking crazy and, and keep it acting like it's, it's okay. No, sit down for a minute, man. You're doing too much. You're doing too much, bro. Maybe we put too much on you right now. Let Honey get a few plays in. Let uh, a few starts in. See where we get it. And let you come back and let it be that. And that's what I think happened. Be honest. You know, I don't know. But John Harbaugh not helping with his horrible fucking coaching, man. And again, EDC was out there. I don't know if Biscotti was watching. But do something, yo. Quick. Now. Please. Save the season. Save Lamar. Save Huntley. Please. If I had a fucking uh, uh, safety. What the fuck is it? I forget the light it's called. The flare light. The fucking gun and shit. SOS shit. Please. Fire Harbaugh and his fucking friends, man. Because they're not helping us. That shit, that shit been sell with Flacco left. That shit a clean house. Once we got the mark, that shit a clean fucking house. We are where we are now, and we just got to hope they do the right thing, man. But shouts out to Huntley. Shouts out to Tyler Snoop Huntley, man. Going toe-to-toe with, with uh, Aaron, Aaron Fraud Rogers. Ravens Flock, we out. I'm out, man. I holler, y'all.